make beef lo mein today, but this can be any protein, literally any protein. This is beef flank steak, 12 ounces for every. I added a little bit of innocuous, it has no flavor oil. So canola, peanut, grapeseed, any high temperature oil, one tablespoon of oil, about a tablespoon and a half of the light soy sauce. And I made a slurry or add a splash of warm water to a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch and about a half a teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda, whatever you have. What you want is to help the meat crisp. I want the oil to ripple. And the first thing we're gonna do for the protein is brown it and take it out. The noodles you can cook anytime. In fact, cold noodles, we rinse them in cold water. Cold noodles are really what you should be adding to the pan later for the actual. These noodles will cook three minutes and protein of your choice will cook about three minutes. Woo! And then we will cook all of the veg. So now we're gonna make the sauce, no matter what type of lo mein you're making. Teaspoon and a half again of cornstarch. And this is what I was talking about. This is the slurry. That just means dissolve it so it doesn't clump up, okay? And now we're going to add about two tablespoons each for uh, 12 ounces to a pound of noodles and 12 ounces of protein of your choice. One, two. That's how I count tablespoons, literally. No joke. For 30 years, since I was a kid, I've been counting, and that's about a tablespoon. One, two. Two tablespoons each of light and dark soy. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon pure sesame oil, and I like a nice dark toasted sesame oil. A slow count of one. A quarter cup of, here are your alternatives. This is Xiaoxing cooking wine. It's a rice cooking wine that's similar in flavor for me to dry sherry. So you can substitute dry sherry. If you do not want to cook with rice wine, sherry, or any other spirit, you can simply substitute the stock or broth of your choice. A chicken or vegetable, it will still impart flavor. This is adding, of course, acidity, fragrance, a lot of things at the same time. So about a quarter cup of that. Again, I'm just looking at it and guessing that's about the ballpark I want. And then a half teaspoon or so of sugar and about a teaspoon of white pepper. There's our sauce. So now I've added a little more oil. Uh, again, high temperature oil, about two tablespoons. Let's go through what we're adding. It can be any group of veggies you like. Mung bean sprouts, cabbage or bok choy. I used baby bok choy. Parsnip, carrot. I thought that would be nice, especially with the beef because the parsnip is like a very mild, uh, kind of a radish or horseradish root. Um, uh, thin leeks or scallions, whole bunch, uh, sweet pepper, hot pepper, ginger and garlic. So that's kind of the around the world there. And now we should drop this into the screaming hot pan as we go to break and we'll be right back. So now we're gonna add in to our veggie mix, the ginger, the garlic, the chilies, and we're adding back our protein of choice. We're making beef lo mein. So I added back the beef. And now it's prime time for sauce time. So in our sauce, we had the cooking wine and the light and dark soy. Oh, yum. And the white pepper. Oh, God, it smells amazing. And now really all we have to do is be a little bit patient and try and work all this through and together here. So now I'm going to garnish, as you guys know, if you watch the show from home, I buy myself these little edible flowers. It just makes me happy. 